Okay, so earlier, um, I was watching, I was scrolling through YouTube videos because I was bored. And there were a lot of, a lot of videos on, like, fake piercings. Or how to make fake piercings. It's like, let me show you. Okay. Let's say, for instance, look, mine's real, I'm taking it out, see that? Mm, I don't know if you can see it. You can see the hole. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so people would be like, either buy the ring or um, I don't I don't know how they would bend it. I didn't watch that many videos, but they'd be like, take the ring, and logically, you just put it on your lip. Uh, ta da! Now I have snake bites. But then like, I don't know, cause this is moving around. It's like sliding around like. You can't like chew on them or anything. I don't know. I don't. I don't get what the point of fake piercing is. I don't remember what side that went on. That's on that side. Okay. Oh, while we're doing this, I'll show you how to put a lip ring. Okay. There it is. And then <gasps> it's caught in my hair. Okay. Let me. There we go. Okay. And on the inside, yeah, I know it's gross. Mm, wrong side. Right there. You can kind of see it on that side. Okay. So, what you want to do with the ball? This is what I had a lot of trouble with the first time that um I wanted to change my lip piercings. Um I use I use this kind with the ball. And on the ball there are let me see if I can find them. No, you can't see that. But there's like uh, indents on both sides of the ball. Yeah. But, and those you wanna you wanna click in like I'm sorry, you can't see it. You want to click you wanna find the side with like the little thingy and you wanna click it in. And then it, it stays like that. But like you can, um, you probably can't, but I can hear it click in, so. But what you want to do is, I'm going to put it on your lip like this. Or well, this is how I do it. I mean, I guess you could do it multiple ways. Put it on your lip, and, and then I rotate it from the outside in, so it's like going up. So then the hole is there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, and then you want to you want to try to not get a lot of spit on it or saliva, because then the ball kind of slides around, and then your hands are covered in spit, which isn't fun for anyone. So you have that there. If you rotate the ball to like the end of your fingers, and and make sure that the um the tabs or the holes or whatever is on the top and bottom, and then you hold the ring. And what I always do is I put in, I like, hold the first one up in place, and then, this one's hard to get in another one, there. You like put the ball on the top, you put the top ridge into the um, loop, and then you'll, you'll feel it when it's in there, and then you push the bottom one in. But, you can see the difference in these. They came from the same pack, but um... The black one's a lot easier to put in. I don't know if it's because the ball is bigger or what, but that's the way it is. And do you like my hair today? My hair looks weird when I do it the other way. I want to wear a beanie, so I do it this way. I'll show you how to... Okay. Okay. This is how to put on a beanie. Or this is, this is my way of putting on a beanie. Okay. But... So, because I have kind of an undercut going on here, which is growing out. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to grow this out, just because I'm tired of it being short and I'm going to have long hair right there. So, what I do is I take this back part of my hair and I push it all forward. So then I'm like, I'm like a hair monster, but like, these used to be bangs. I used to have bangs that were like here, but it was... Before I killed my hair from bleaching it out. So they were like smooth. 
Anyways. And then you take the beanie. And you put it on right there. Okay. You slide the back down. You pull the front forward like that. And then this one's not that big. Like, I like really slouchy and big beanies, but this one's not that big. And guys, guys that wear beanies, it's a plus for you in my book. Any guy that wears a beanie gets a major plus in my book. Okay, ooh, wow, that's a lot of hair. But then you just push it all to one side and do like the little scene kit hair. But then like, my hair's weird, so like it half sticks out, so... It's flaky things. What I do is, I take this part, and I bring it back here, and I tuck it in my hat. Ta-da! That's how you put on a beanie my way. I don't know who else does it like that. You might. Ta-da. You might, you might not. And also, if you have plugs on this side, and you want, you want to show your plugs off, toot 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 toot. I look like such a scene kid right now. I'm so colorful. Uh -uh. Oh, wow. Here. I'm a tart, I'm sorry. Um. Oh, yeah, I was also going to show you septum. Okay. This is getting really long. Um, But septum is the last thing I will show you how to do. And I got a request to do a belly button one. I will do that next week. I promise it's coming. But um, my nostril ones, those really hurt to take out. Okay. Okay, that's how that's how it doesn't want to go. So, but like, mm -hmm. okay. On the inside, I I don't have a straight back. As you can see, I got like the little corkscrew thing on the inside. I'm not gonna take it out because I'm not gonna get, be able to get it back in because it hurts. And I had these pierced back in December or January and it's September now so it's just me like my friends have my friend has her nose pierced also but hers doesn't hurt I think it's because she has in the straight backs but when I sleep I pull out the straight backs um I do weird things when I sleep sometimes I'll wake up without pants on yeah I don't know where they go but then but it has like a corkscrew back and you got to put the corkscrew in and then you got to rotate it around and then you got to push that part in. <gasps> oh, that hurts. Okay, so. Let me move out my septum. Septums are generally pierced in a 16, which is the size of my lip right now. And these are in a 20. These are pierced, or a 20 or an 18. It's the same kind that your ears are originally pierced with. Before you, you're a weirdo and you stretch them like me, which mine are an inch now. If I had a quarter, it'd be the same size as that. But septum, they have they have a thing called a sweet spot when you get your septum pierced. That's like the area under the cartilage and above this the ridgy thing at the bottom of your nose. And luckily, I have one. Uh, some people don't, so they have to pierce it through cartilage, and that hurts a lot. But mine didn't hurt because I have a sweet spot. But Mine is, this is a 10. I was thinking about going to an 8, but I'm not sure. But that's, that's a 10. Oh, I'll do an, I'll do an ear stretching video for you guys too later. It'll be on my page. Because I have them, why not talk about them? But, with the septum, like my septum's big. I stretched that. Which that is the most painful thing I have ever felt in my life. More than tattoos. I don't feel tattoos at all. I like how tattoos feel when when I get them done. This, this hurts. Just stretch your septum. I did it with, um, tapers. Um, circular, circular, like curved tapers that you use for your ears when you stretch them. That's how I stretch my septum. But, then you just put one. And this is actually a retainer. This isn't an ear one anymore. You put it in. And then you just flip it around. Ta-da! That's easy to put in. But, that is my beanie lip piercing septum inserting video. I hope you got something out of it and this. Thanks for watching.